What's up insiders? Dan with Haunt Collective and Inside the Haunt Industry and today, today we're going to talk about Terror at Tyrol. That's right, this is a haunted house, a brand new attraction that we were able to check out the first night that it opened. <laughs> we were the last patrons there and we did, we did get scared. This episode brought to you by HauntCon the trade show where hunters gather to grow their business, be inspired for the coming season, and unite with the community that is shaping the future of the haunt industry. All right, insiders. Before we start talking about Terror Tile, I want to talk about Haunt Collective and making sure that you guys are aware that you need to hit that bell notification and subscribe to us because we are going to be bringing you more and more content in the coming months in November and December and January and also February. We have a bunch of stuff lined up in the coming months. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so that's a good reason for you guys to subscribe. Let's talk about Terror Tyrell. This is a haunted attraction that is built on a ski hill. It's really cool, it's really unique. Uh, and I heard about it just through one of our insiders that gave us a, a heads up uh, that this haunt was was opening this year. So we checked it out and then more and more, uh, actually I think I was traveling and I saw a billboard for it. I'm like, huh, well, I'll look that up. And sure enough, I looked it up, reached out, found the, found the, haunt, the haunter in charge and uh, we made the trek out to Terror at Tyrol. This haunt is got tons and tons of potential. Um, it starts by going up a, a ski lift and you get to the top of the hill and then you make your way down the back side of the hill through a basically a haunted trail and this thing is long and dark and very wooded. So you head out you, you head off the, the sky the sky lift or the ski lift and you walk through this very 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 dark trail. Uh, you get to a shanty, um, and I have to say that this was probably my biggest scare to date. Because <laughs> when we walked in, the four of us walked into this little shanty. It was probably a 10 by 10 shack, and there was what looked like a character in the corner, but he or she did so well, so well, that they scared me right out the door. Because I looked at them, I'm like, oh, that's fake. They don't. They didn't look real. They were slumped over, and it was just they they sold it really well. Uh, so I passed on it, and I, as soon as I shifted my head, they timed it perfectly and nailed me good, really good. So kudos to whoever was in that room. That was probably the, the hardest scare that I got all year. Um, continuing with that, you travel, you traverse down through a trail that goes down the backside of the ski hill, basically. It's very wooded, very dark, very, very creepy, um, and then it's sets you out into a field. I feel like it was a field. It was very, very dark. Uh, it feels like a field. And that sent you into a clown maze. After you leave that, you head down a very long field and you can see off in the distance, you can see uh, the silhouette of a haunted house. And it is a super high detailed haunted house. Um, the only thing that I could say downside to that was there was a long walk in between that and there was no scaring or anything. We actually had to use our flashlights, it was that dark, on our phones. So if there was anything that could change there, um, I would say probably do that because if people have to turn their flashlights on, then it becomes something where you're losing the atmosphere, you're losing that whole, the immersive experience because now you're turning a flashlight on and that kills that scared feeling uh, that you get. However, I'd have to say, when we got down to the house, there was a graveyard in front and there were people in that graveyard that scared the bejesus out of me. So I have to say, good job again for getting me uh, in the graveyard. Uh, I thought that the actor that was in, that was at the haunted house that laid out the backstory uh, before we went in was very, very good. Uh, she was very interactive. She knew what she was talking about. She sold her part very well and then also gave us a backstory in the hunt. So I really, really liked that. Um, and then once we got into the hunt, there was a lot of detail in there as well as a lot of actors working working the crowd as well as working 
within the room using what they have. I think the best part was there's a bathroom scene and the there was a actor on the toilet crying saying, don't eat the cake. I have to say that was such a unique line that it will stick with me for a long, long time. If you're in the haunt, don't eat the cake. Other than that, I thought it was great. I thought it was a great haunt. Um, I think it has huge amounts of potential. So I'm super excited. First year uh, haunt and we went on the first night. So they're obviously working out the kinks, but it's not something that I would recommend not going to because of that. Um, I give it two thumbs up and I would love to see what they do in the future moving forward. The only thing that I would say that needs to be taken care of is like letting people know where the location is, like where people can go to buy tickets. Uh, we got there, there was a lot of cars in the parking lot when we got there, but we didn't know which direction to go to get to tickets. It was very hard. We actually actually asked people that were leaving the attraction where to get tickets and they pointed us in the right direction. Once we found it, we were good. Um, but that would be the only the only con that I would say is they didn't have enough like signage. Um, but the haunt itself, two thumbs up. Really loved it. So Terror Tyrol, I can't wait to see what you guys do next year. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, uh, let me know. Uh, other than that, I can't wait to see what happens uh, in 2020. And I look forward to seeing what you guys do then. Uh, until next time, guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're updated with all of the other information that we are going to be bringing you in November, December, January, February. We have a ton of content ready to go for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned and uh, check us out. Uh, I'm Dan with Haunt Collective Inside the Haunt Industry. Keep on scaring, y'all. Oh, that wasn't bad.